Hi, this is a minute of Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now this week I want to talk about app bundles. Okay, so this week I want to talk about app bundles. So uh, an app bundle in the Apple App Store is a way of taking, you know, a couple or, you know, several of your apps and putting them into one bundle that people can buy, you know, could buy at once. So this is something I didn't take very seriously a lot at first. And it's only recently that we started using these a little bit better and to start to remarket some of our stuff. So, you know, my whole goal in terms of app development is try to get your app in front is to try to get our apps in front of as many people as possible. So they can be searching on one thing and completely miss our app or searching on something else. And and we have a lot of things that are, you know, they share the same kind of theme and then we could go ahead and, and repackage those. So if you have a look at my screen here, I'll kind of go over what what I what I'm talking about here. So here's uh, our apps page this is all of our apps that are ready for sale so it doesn't include the ones that are you know in the review process or rejected uh, so uh, so you can see here we've kind of got uh, similar themes we've got uh, you know la language learning games so yeah we have a uh, for each language we, we put out different types of games uh, so uh, if I give you to give you an example if I go Russian you can see here we got you know three uh, types of basically three series of games. We have the Russian Spy, which is a, uh, a spy-themed uh, language learning game. We have Russian Bubble Bath, which is our original series, so it's the bubbles go up and you pop them. And then we have Russian Flash Quiz, which is a much faster way with the Russian vocabulary. And we've got this for, for several of our languages. So, uh, and if I show you just sort of some of the bundles that we've done so far, we're just really getting started with it, but I'll show you, um, uh, let's see, uh, Mac iOS bundle, we can see like we have the Spanish language games, uh, Korean bundle, uh, Mandarin games, Asian language games. So basically what we're doing is every time we get the spy game, which is the third series, approved, then we'll release a bundle uh, on that. So uh, the nice thing about this is, is like, like we talked about, if you could, um, if you were going to go ahead and put something on the shelf in uh, like a shop, you would want to have it as many places as possible. So somebody might see this and see it's a you know it's a value. And we've actually been selling quite a bit of these bundles. Uh, I mean, compared to the regular app. So if, if somebody sees something like they're looking for a Spanish app and then they see a bundle, then they're more likely to buy it. So uh, and just to go over this, I, I would think I was showing you here. Um, if I show all types ready for sale. Russian. So we have uh, for each app, just the way we do it, we have the free version, the paid version. The free version obviously has in app purchases to make it the paid version. Uh, and then some of these, we can see we recently started releasing these in desktop. So we're using for this. For this framework, we're using Corona SDK, and you can release them as desktop apps. So we started doing that, and uh, and we see at least a couple of desktop apps purchase each day, which is which is nice. But so what I'm going to do today is release uh, the Russian version in uh, in a bundle, so you can see just see how easy it is. So if I just go, you go here, and you you notice you have new app, new Mac app, new app bundle. I'll select new app bundle, and let's say I want to call it. Now this is this is the real value here. It's because you could choose different keywords uh, from what you do in your normal app. So you can see the other one was like Russian Spy, Russian Bubble Bath, but I really just want this one to be called Learn Russian. That's the one I want to go. I wanted to kind of go higher up in the rankings based on that. So no other titles, no and other anything like that. And I could release this several times under several different keywords or different combinations and things like that. And it's those keywords that I'm that I'm going for. So this one I'm going to call. Uh, learn Russian games, right? Uh, and then I'll just do Russian. And I need to, the, this one of my pet peeves with this thing is my titles are too long uh, and I can't see the whole thing, so I have to hover over. So I want the pro version. Obviously, I don't want to release the free versions in a bundle. Uh, I want uh, flash quiz and this one says pro. So that's it, so the three, and then later on I can release a, a few more uh, when we do, if we do some more Russian versions or some more uh, different variations on this, uh, you know, these uh, things. So I go, there I go create. And now it'll go through and will automatically create sort of a, a icon with the, uh, the four icons in it or three icons, or you can upload your own. So here you could go learn Russian games. And here I could go, uh, you know, uh, a bundle of overpass 
Russian learning games, Russian bubble bath, Russian spy, Russian flash quiz. Now, in I, and on Apple, I'm not so concerned about the description. It's the title more that I'm going for here. And you can see here, you don't actually have like another keywords field for this, but I could go uh, just overpass.co.uk, cleared for sale, yes, and then the pricing tier. Again, one of my pet peeves with the bundles is it doesn't tell you, you don't have that little helper that says what it is, but it does have the compatible ones here. And I'm just gonna go for, uh, I'll go for the highest one, might as well. And then the SKU. Now the SKU here, we can check, it has to be completely unique. So uh, again, I don't have one just called uh, Learn Russian. So I'm just gonna go com.overpass.learnrussian. And here I can upload a bundle, a bundle icon or I can just have it automatically do it. And when it automatically does it, it just puts all the different icons there, So, uh, which I prefer actually. So I go through here, check everything over, everything looks good. Now, there's something else I could do here too. I, I've got this learn Russian games, which is, my, which is basically the keyword phrase that I'm going for. But if I wanted to, I could go ahead and put this under a few other languages. Let's say in the UK, I wanna try something else. I wanna try, uh, Russian language games. And again, just because I'm not so concerned about the description, I'm just gonna do that here. Uh, Australian English, um, I'm not gonna worry about those two. Uh, but usually what I do is I go through, and the reason it takes so long to upload to iPhone is because I will go through and I'll do different, different variations on, those different, on the different English languages. Uh, the same with the Spanish languages. Uh, there's a really good article on this. Let me just show you this, uh, if you haven't seen it, uh, on Sensor Tower, which is a, a very good resource. I don't like the tool so much, but their blog is fantastic. Uh, but you know, they talk about some of the different um, keyword uh, localizations you can use in different places. So even though in those keyword fields you have those 100, 100 characters you could use, if you start to use it right, like say in the United States App Store, uh, you have, uh, it actually uses English and Mexico, English US and Mexico and the United Kingdom uh, uses English UK and Australia and that kind of stuff. So use those in, in tandem. If you use all of those different localizations, you should not overlap them. So it actually, it kind of doubles what you can do. Cool, so let me go back to this guy here. Uh, and I think that's about it. If I go through save. And it should just say submit, but you know with Apple it's always something else. Okay, submit for review. And that's it. And this usually the, these bundles, they take a little bit longer for some reason. Last time we did bundles it took four or five days as opposed to the two days that the Apple is doing at the moment. So, so, so that's it. So hopefully in a, the next few days, we'll have like another asset on the app store. I could do many other variations of this too. I could, um, let's say if I wanted to just release all of our spy games, let me just go back here. Um, I could do a bundle of all of our spy, uh, language games. I could do a bundle of all of our flash quiz games. Uh, Let's see, spy. You see, I like spy stuff, obviously. So, our, so we got our original ear spy. We've got a few spy games, and we have these these language games in spy spy. I could do, um, you know, just different ways of doing doing it. And even if they don't buy the bundle, it might help with the visibility of it. So, somebody searching on Russian language games, they might go through some stuff, and they might see that one as opposed to something else because the keywords are different, or things might just be a little bit different. So, so that's it for this week. If you're an Apple developer, or if you put stuff on the Apple App Store, you know, have a look at these bundles. It might help you out a bit. It's something really just we're starting out with, and it's it, it always gratifies me when somebody buys the bundle. Uh, but even then, I'm, I'm hoping if they don't buy the bundle, they might click on the bundle, they might view the bundle, and they might go into the individual apps. Themselves. So again, it's just getting that exposure. You want to be as many places as you can be. And this is one way that, that helps out with that. So, so, th so that's it for this week. I hope it's been helpful. Now, uh, once again, if you do like the channel, please, uh, please leave a review, uh, you know, like the video, uh, subscribe. We're nearly at 3000 subscribers. We, I think we just have a few more to go. Uh, and uh, you follow us on Snapchat if you're interested. And uh, that's it. I'll talk to you next week.